Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9, and the next video in my weapon series is going to be Yuffie. Um, now, kind of like I said with uh, Jace and Matt, Yuffie, I wish I could have uh, my friend L uh, from the guild and the Discord do this one because he is a huge Yuffie fan, and I guarantee you he would do this better than me. Uh, he's not a content creator to my knowledge, but gosh, uh, there's just people I know that like some of these characters and utilize them way more often than I do. And I know they would be better suited to give a review like this, but I'm going to do my best. Um, so Yuffie, really interesting. Uh, she came out in the new year and really one of the things about her, kind of similar to Sephiroth, is that a lot of her stuff was pretty good. Like even just the regular kit that they gave her, I think a lot of her weapons were pretty good. And so maybe a lot more um if we go off like percentage based maybe more noteworthy weapons than a lot of characters just because you know there was already power creep coming so when they put her out they really needed to make her weapons actually like viable compared to everybody else's so okay first we've got boomerang and i can tell you i never really wish listed this the game just loved to give it to me uh which is fine uh it's a great great weapon for uh fire potency here um i don't even have it maxed but uh you know 39 points 46 this was kind of right in line with everything it doesn't do fire damage though that's kind of the downfall but it does have a fire breach so very much like bald eagle uh just with stats that aren't quite as good as bald eagles it also doesn't have a sigil break or anything so this is a weapon that I think is noteworthy because the Fire Breach is pretty damn good, just like Bald Eagles, but not, I don't put it in the same category. The next weapon I want to go over is Arctic Star. And this weapon is really good because every time you have a weapon that does multiple things and does them well, uh, that just gives you the efficiency to do other things, which is amazing. So the C ability on this, Feisty Spirit, is, is really great. Physical attack increase, and I believe it's starting at OB6, it's high potency, mid before that, but stacks to high. Um, but anyway, high potency to a single ally, a little bit of a heal, but then also she gets a little bit lower of a physical attack increase to herself. So uh, if she's your like secondary damage dealer, that is really good. <laughs> the fact that you can buff your main damage dealer and your secondary damage dealer very very nice uh especially if you don't have something like kimura wand or if you don't want to run Aerith or whatever uh, this this is a definitely a noteworthy weapon and it's very good 39 points to buff debuff extension quite good got some physical attack which i like uh still no sigil break but still a noteworthy weapon and one that's worth considering especially if you want to run yuffie uh, as a main member in many of your parties i think this is something i would definitely be looking into getting Spiral Shuriken is the next one, and this is her ice ability weapon. Uh, one of the things, like I said earlier, because she came out later, they gave her kind of a pretty good variety of stuff. Uh, her wind weapon, not so much. Uh, it's an all enemies kind of one, but her ice one is quite good. It's got the normal R abilities, like this is very standard for elemental damage abilities. 800% uh, wasn't super power creep, but hey, it was 50% higher than something like Murasame. So uh, definitely useful. No sigil boost. Ugh. Like sometimes I'm just like, are you are you trying to tell us you don't really support the character? Anyway, uh, that's my little rant for that. Tagging along with Spiral Shuriken though, we have Pinwheel, which is a very good companion weapon for that because it's got an ice breach on it. So now we've covered two different breaches, fire and ice. Uh, so this is making her very flexible. So this is make. So this is making her very flexible. Um, HP 46, ice potency 39, love to see it. I really like when you can mix up this R ability. It's not always gonna be, you know, attack, physical attack, but what else is useful? Well, HP is always useful, so Definitely like this, makes it a good sub weapon as well. Um, it doesn't have a sigil break, so if you're using Yuffie for your main DPS, um, 
so far, and we're, you know, about halfway through her weapon list, you're just going to be a little bit uh, found wanting in that department. Four-point shuriken, this weapon is an amazing sub-weapon, and one that I have tried to get, but not been very successful at. Um, as far as the C ability goes, physical attack decrease, all enemies, like, that's not something we normally need for all enemies, but I would rather see it single enemy potency high, to be fair. But 46 HP with buff debuff extension, that's why I want this weapon. Uh, it's a great sub weapon on a utility character, especially when you're needing HP, but you also want buff debuff extension. Pretty much like the two things I normally want to see here, or well, what I normally want to see with buff debuff is either HP or heal. There is maybe a couple other things that I would take, but the heal and HP are probably my top two. Um, again, no, no sigil break, nothing fancy there, but uh, I think still a solid weapon. Next, we're coming over to uh, Wind Slash, which sounds more like a, a, an ability or a C ability than a weapon. And they got really creative with the name of the C ability because that's called Nimble Wind Slash. I don't know. Anyway, uh, what's good about this? Well, Thunder Resist decrease, right? So a Thunder Breach, and that's now three breaches that Yuffie has. And, you know, which that's awesome if you're building a character. You typically, if you're going to put a lot of resources into them, you want to be able to use them a lot. You need them to be able to fit what it is that you need, though. And three breaches makes her very useful in a lot of different content. Uh, buff debuff extension was a huge theme of her kit. And so you're going to see this on many of her weapons. And I have no qualms about it, um, especially because it always feels like these breaches don't last very long. Maybe that's just me, but they're always running out right when I'm trying to actually do something that seems more important at the time. So having a buff debuff extension on something like that is very helpful. Physical attack to go with it. She is a, a pretty good physical attack damage dealer. Um, again, <laughs> at least they gave her a lightning boost on this one, but still no sigil break, uh, which again, for like, somebody who can be run as a main DPS, you know, just frustrating. Um... <laughs> Now we get to Diner Tray, and this was, I believe, the featured weapon on the banner when she came out, maybe right after she came out. It's hard to remember, but this, as far as wind goes, I was kind of talking smack on her other wind weapon that's, you know, the wind ninjutsu or whatever it was called. This one, though, with Twister is considerably better, right? It is a viable main DPS wind weapon, 850% physical wind damage. Uh, that checks that box and then our abilities right in line with most of the elemental damage still still no sigil break. I like her main drawback is hopefully you don't have to do like a 46 break sigil phase um, where you really want her to be able to do much Hawkeye is the next weapon we're going to go over this is another really good really good weapon uh, for earth damage and it's physical so far um you know i'm thinking most earth damage dealers are typically magical at least that was kind of the theme for a while giving yuffie 850 percent physical earth damage at ob10 is huge 70 percent or more hp though and that number goes up to 1020 percent that makes this one of the if not the best i think actually vincent eclipses her unfortunately but still one of the best earth damagers in the game. Um, our ability is just what we would expect. And we have a sigil break. Thank the Lord. Okay, no, that's a really good weapon. Uh, it's definitely something I think people would want to pick up. Uh, obviously, I haven't, but it is really good. Last, we have Striped Moogle Float. And this weapon is also quite good. 700% physical fire damage. Again, a little on the low side, but as most of these do, like Tifa's, increases fire damage. Potency low, stacks to high though. Uh, it's got a pretty good duration at OB10 at 35 seconds. And you know, you're gonna be probably using this over and over. So that's going to be stacking up. It's got uh, the same R abilities that we normally see on elemental damage weapons and another sigil boost. Although the exact same as the last one, that makes two circles. I don't remember if any of these other ones had one. If they did, maybe one of them did. 
Um, so definitely not a sigil breaker, not known for her sigil breaking ability, but I think known to be quite versatile. Uh, you know, she's got ice, fire, lightning, wind. She's got breaches for three of those. Uh, she also has a fair amount of Arcanums. And so, uh, you know, Yuffie is, is good. Better than I give her credit for in my account. I can tell you that. But she came at a weird time for me, so that's why I haven't built her. If I were going to get a couple of ticket vouchers and use them on Yuffie, man, I don't know. It really depends if you want to use her as a main DPS, uh, some sort of like a breacher utility character or sub weapons. Ah, man, I can honestly say most likely I'm going to be using sub weapons uh, for her. And that's just kind of how it is. I'm um, looking at stuff like Four Point Shuriken, um, Arctic Star, uh, maybe something like uh, one of these elemental weapons as a, you know, sub weapon, uh, something like Diner Tray, even uh, Nimble Wind Slash here. Uh, Wind Slash here, possibly, but I really, really like Four Point Shuriken and Arctic Star. Uh, those are probably the two main weapons for sub weapons that I would be going for. If I was going for something like a main weapon, it'd be Diner Tray. I don't like Hawkeye. I'm pretty sure it came out too recently. If it didn't, that's definitely in contention as well. Um, something like one of those. That's where I'd be going with Yuffie. Hopefully this was helpful and thanks for watching.